Once again, welcome vegans, I'm your host, Alyssa, aka Rice Traveler, bringing you almost live from the Riga Marathon 2017. As you saw, the main footage is damaged by wind, but that's okay, I filmed most of the courses with my GoPro as well, so without further ado, this is my voiceover tour slash vlog around the Riga Marathon 2017, so lay back and enjoy. The dude preparing the camera. Yeah. And the sunrise. <laughs> yeah, this just gets me so fucking high, I can't. As I was passionately explaining it in my original footage, these are some of the roads that you will be running through if you choose to participate in the half marathon or the marathon distance. And I'm sure that they won't be changing the course anytime soon and uh, it'll be this same original route that has been established since 1991 when the first Riga Marathon was held and organized by the Riga City Council. Uh, these particular roads are located on the other side of the river Daugava, so for the half marathon it's 4 to 10 k's of the race, and for the marathon you have to do two laps, so it's 4 to 10 k's and then again 32 to 38 k's. Look at that sunrise, look at that sunrise, oh my god. Some fishermen that are making fun of me. We don't support what you do, man. We don't support it. So it all starts there in the center on the promenade. I think 10k just goes across the bridge and right. Oh my god, look at that bird! <laughs> across the bridge and just right back. By the way, I'm running a 10k. No comment. <laughs> now heading back to the city center. Personally, I think that the bridge is the hardest part of the whole course, especially if you have to do it twice. It's the only place where you have some sort of elevation going on, and as you can see here on the left side, that's where you'll have to go up the bridge. And judging by some people's Strava data, <laughs> the total elevation for the marathon course is roughly 136 meters, and for the half marathon, it's 63 meters. Also, that day in particular, it was relatively <laughs> not relative. it was kind of warm for some people it might be even hot in riga so up the bridge there you'll experience that fully like the heat was intense um it's kind of similar on the promenade and later on in the outstretch that goes to the eastern southern suburbs I kind of believe that's the <laughs> most annoying part because there's just nothing to see, nothing's happening and only cars rushing next to you diluting your air even more. Next year I'm planning to spectate here because I just want to capture the faces of people running through hell <laughs> and this location isn't part of the race, I just had to get back to the city center and what a better way to do it than through Maskajka. But no, I just, I love that district. It's lovely. It really is lovely. <laughs> you know what's really bad? I forgot to take some sugar water with me. And one of the camera batteries is already out. So that's why I have my iPhone and a GoPro and two camera batteries. I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> the best breakfast I had since, I don't know, since I had a smoothie, <laughs> which was like a year ago or <laughs> something. <laughs> oh, I don't know so much. Moving on. First of all, <laughs> here you can experience the first class Latvian roads. Which, by the way, you can find pretty much anywhere in the country, you just have to go outside. Also, on your right is the Riga Central Market, and here's the rest of the pavilions. Also, I must say, I chose quite an interesting path to go to the city center, but you know, that's the beauty of being on the bike. You can be part of the pedestrian infrastructure, or you can go into the traffic, it's your choice. You can still do that in Riga, it's allowed, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> uh, into Maskačka, 
out of Moskachka again and now going through Zirno Street. Now turning to Krishanya Barona Street, which by the way is my favorite street in the whole city. I can't tell you exactly why. It's just something about it that feels really homely and just lovely. It's a lovely street. <laughs> Freshly renovated as well. Now turning to Lodge Pleasure Street, which is also freshly paved and renovated slash colored. I will risk to say that it's one of the best road surfaces in the whole city right now, but you know, that's just my opinion. And finally, turning to Brivibe Street, where every single course goes through 10k, 6k, 21k and the marathon and I find it to be somewhat of a breaking point as well because you just run through it and you can't see the end you don't know where you have to turn so it's sort of a mindfuck as well another one of those lovely streets of Riga called Cristiania Valdemara I don't recommend you ride here in the peak hour though <laughs> If you have any self-concern left, otherwise have fun, but it's just intense. It's really intense here and there's a little outstretch that goes just before the ridge for the 10k and 21k and the 42k's and this is Pulkvaja Brieja Street. Reverse, reversed. <laughs> so this is going to be my spectating spot <laughs> just next to Latvenergo, you know, the usual one, the classic one. I sort of like this place because you can see all the leaders and they're still kind of accelerating a bit at the start, so it's going to be fun. The roads aren't closed yet, they close them down at 7.30. I'll probably have a couple of dates now, just to pass the time, you know. <laughs> and then I'll cruise around my favorite roads of the Regan Marathon. Closed up roads, all for yourself, man. As you can clearly see, I switched to the iPhone. I want to save the camera. I'm not sure that you can even hear me, but I'm heading to the promenade. They closed down the roads and I want to see some foreign runners, you know, pro athletes that are going to probably win, you know, the Kenyans. In total, they're giving away five, you know, 50,000 euros, I think. And I'm sure that that's enough money to go beyond natural abilities, if you know what I mean. <laughs> choose such accurate music in these events, don't they? <laughs> anyway, as I was gliding through the promenade, I just couldn't stop noticing how freaking remarkable some of the people's form is. I mean, I wish that someday I'll be able to run somewhat fast, but more importantly, as beautifully as day two. But yeah, now going through pretty much the same roads as I did previously, turning to Hansa Street, where the first feed slash water zone is, where people typically go totally nuts, um, and turning to Polkvaja Brieja Street once again. And talking of feed zones, in total, in the marathon course, there's 11 feed zones. In the half marathon, it's I think 9. In 10k there's 3 and in the 6k course there's no official feed zones but there's always something left in this particular spot because I remember last year <laughs> I ate a couple of pieces of banana and I think also oranges along the way. <laughs> it was fun. But yeah, here I chose the opportunity to go up the bridge once again without the feeling on the back of my head that somebody's going to run me over any second. So I went to the far back where the marathon course turns and as I said previously, it's like a frying pan up there, seriously, just be cautious, take care of yourself and you know, if you're like me and you rather cycle the whole distance then it's okay. <laughs> and by the way, I don't understand why more people aren't out there in the morning and just cycling the whole thing because 
all the roads are closed so freaking nice to be able to go in the middle of the road and not just cram on the right side fearing for your life every single second you know city should be like that if it was for me to change everything up then there would be no freaking cars allowed in the city center simply because it's in everybody's interest to keep our air clean or should i say cleaner because now it's totally fucked personally a couple of days ago i measured the amount of co2 concentration in all around the center riga center and it was over the norm like a lot and i know i'm i'm going off the topic but it's important i mean we are all bringing that in especially if you're driving a car because you're breathing in 30 percent more than the person outside like how can people just don't get it i I can't just hate cars (laughs) just personal hatred towards motorized vehicles honestly but yeah here's a moment where i literally could have left all my teeth on the tarmac um i saw that line in the last moment and thankfully i reacted to it quite fast but yeah just be cautious pay freaking attention to the road (laughs) a reminder to myself jc dates i decided to slightly change my position the spectating point i'm still here in the original one but i'm probably going to go somewhere on the corner so that i'll be able to see different angles you know better pictures better video content but it's still 8 11 so 20 minutes until the start as i said last year the Riga Marathon sort of marks the day when the summer starts because everything's almost blooming, everything's almost green, and it's so fucking beautiful. Last year it rained all day. This year the weather is perfect. I mean, it couldn't be better. The forecast said it's going to be 18 degrees, which <laughs> is a bit too much for running, but. I'm still loving it, you know. This is the map of the marathon. They go two laps. And I'm... Where am I? I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. And the 21 is just one lap. 10k is just around the city center and across the bridge and just right back. Oh my god, I'll have to go. (laughs) I'm fucked officially (laughs) and this is 6k it's the easiest course honestly now the easiest course is the family run which was yesterday 3.5 k's um but i really like this course if it if there wasn't so many people that just walk the whole thing then it would be great and this year it's also the latvian marathon championship so these are a couple of people that we might spot in the first bunch um prokopchuka I always see her every year uh, about the rest of the people I have no idea I, ha- I didn't see Kenyans on the promenade this year that was weird but they usually take all the first places that's why we have a special prize for only Latvian runners because we run so fucking bad the motherland of running <laughs> where <laughs> kids run to school and stuff we can't we can't relate you know it looks like something is finally starting. <laughs> like, how long does it take to run 2Ks? 8 minutes? 6 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> Almost exactly 6 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the form, look at the form, man. Oh, today's, these days, people are on road bikes. Oh my god, look at the form. I think these ones are, some of them are ours, Latvians, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. (laughs) Look at the four man. (sighs) Literally running on three minutes per K. 
on a fucking marathon. Now these ones are 21. The green numbers are 21. The marathon numbers are orange. Yeah, orange. Where are all the girls at? Oh, here's the girls. Here's the girls. These ones are almost all marathons. Losing time, losing time. People <laughs> checking their phones. Squeak, Garmin. <laughs> this is so awesome, man. This is so awesome. They should start carrying cellulose packaging because this is not good. This is just not okay. The feed zone. So the first part of the day is sort of over. Now is the hard slash exciting part. Running it out. I forgot I had to put the number on. Okay, we're sorted now. Kind of. I don't know. Atsirēs, ka galvenais ir piedalīties, nevis par visu varu finišēt. Remember that the important part is that you participate and not that you finish. I find it, I find this not offensive, but <laughs> that's like an excuse to not push your hardest, even if you have pain. Like, I'm just that sort of person that will not stop by any means regardless of how many stitches I have or cramps or <laughs> whatever else okay I'm heading out soon I'm nervous as fuck um, I'm going to push my hardest even though my result doesn't mean shit but I have to impress myself <laughs> I just have to check out the bike parking I haven't seen so many bikes in Riga since I don't know never it's like a triathlon, man. Look at that. Getting myself back home from the run. Overall, it was, you know, so, so. I couldn't do a sub 50, that's why it's so so. Also, all my feet are totally covered in blisters and it was too hot. It was 18 degrees Celsius and the sun was constantly heating up and it's just not, a, it's not comfortable to run um, when it's more than 14 degrees Celsius in my opinion. Um, also, I was dehydrated from the start. That totally fucked everything up as well. And overall, my result is 50-59 by Garmin. Um, the official marathon chip result is 51-12, I think. I'll go with the Garmin. <laughs> it's my PR uh, so far, but I really want to make it sub-50 one day. So that's probably going to happen next year. <laughs> But yeah, I'll just leave you at this, you know. <laughs> There's no more footage I can show you, so carve the fuck up, get amongst it, and go vegan, man. And run marathons, like, it's easy. I didn't do any training before it, so I still ran a PR. It was not sub 50, but you know, at least something. If I trained, maybe it would be sub 50, but you know, next year. Next year, sub 50. 100%. I promise. <laughs> oh, and just one more thing, just to prove a point, okay? This is what I'm having post run jam sandwiches. Also, I had an apple and a bag of raisins, which they gave to everybody. And as I was lying down in the sun on the grass, there was a family next to me that <laughs> was talking. How <laughs> fucking much sugar raisins contain, like uh, that bag that they gave away. Everybody's so freaking afraid of sugar these days, like, I can't. 
Meanwhile, I'm eating my jam sandwiches and just pouring it everywhere. Cheers, man. Cheers. Just skip the pepperoni, keep the dairy aside. I know what you're thinking. That's bruschetta. Now nah, we got the soy cheese counterfeit cheddar. Hook up the nachos, guacamole tacos, avocado sushi, domo arigato. What do you eat? What about me? What about me?